Okay. There, I'm back. I paused it. I was wrong. Uh, I did not get the rings. I kept doing that fight and trying to get rings off of that witch. Uh, I think it's something different that I was thinking about where you can get rings. I think you actually maybe even have to use a cheat. But uh, I remember you could get rings off of... Maybe it's a different witch. Who knows? But uh, we are right at the end of that fight and taking off from there. I did not get any more rings. So Chester is wearing the power ring that we got. Alright. It was really weird. It sounded like the audio was coming through my television, which it should not be. But I can hear it in my headset, so... We're continuing on. Uh, there's a bridge. I think I should take the bridge. Or not. What's up here? There's another bridge. I admittedly have been looking up where I've been going before doing a bunch of the episodes. Uh, this episode, not so much. So, actually no idea where I'm going. This is probably not the right way. Uh, there's a cave here. The dark cave. Oh! I guess this is the right way. The Hobgoblin! Looks like we're gonna fight a Hobgoblin. Well, uh, okay. He's walking, welcoming us to his home. Well, that was a quick fight. Um, just kinda looking around a bit. Alright. I need to use him to block that off for now. Chester can help block this area off. You will not be blocking shit. I'm gonna put you off to the side on the angle. You as well, not an effective blocker. Um, yeah. Ooh, I think I saw one of the enemies. Yeah. Well, this fight doesn't look too bad. Slade's not really a good blocker, but we'll put him there anyway. Yeah, there's a bunch of magic users. Oh, this is hard to follow. I'm not controlling it most of the time. When well, while the other team is moving, I'm not controlling it. I need to move Slade. He's in a really bad spot. One one magic user comes in and can just wreck shop up in here. cross formation. Later, like a big diamond. Yeah, he's gonna get to me anyway, so I might as well. Nah, I'm just gonna stay here for now. Yeah, we're gonna leave Slade where he is. Ooh, Jaha. Oh jeez, there's an area off to the left there? I hope there's not too many guys in there. I could make it to him. What's over here? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that dark door. Doing some killing. Oh, I leveled for that? Wow, he's my first level 14, I think. Oh, there's a cave down to the south, too. I should have walked around more with him. Got a bit more movement. Oh, no level up for that, though. He must be close, though. Okay, those are a lot of bats. Bat. Two witches? Three bats? Get attacked by a hunter goblin. Meh. 
at level 8. Alright, let's go heal Chester. Because I can use 10 experience on her. She's only level 8! I'm too good at the game. I don't use my healer enough. Later they become super good though. Chester doesn't do magic. I can take this guy out pretty quick. Or over three turns. Boom! Go slave. Oh, that's a nice experience. Well done. Good level up. Good level up. I still don't control that bird yet. Peter is uncontrollable. Yeah, that's right, hit me. Good job. At least Sarah will have something to heal. Fire, the vampire bats do, and the witches have to freeze. strategically and giving the kill to somebody who could have used it more, but... Oh yeah, again. Stupid bird, I don't control. Huh. Huh. Alright. Most of them one up. Okay, here comes the first of the magic users. I like it when they try to hit me with their staff rather than use magic on me. Um, shit. Alright, it's not really a safe place to put Jaha, so let's put over here. You stay up there. I don't need two of you right now. You don't come down either. Figured that would happen. Severe bottleneck here. I'll level two her, sure. All for you, baby. I don't even care about the people around you. Hey, a level up too. Not bad. Oh, did he just get dispel? <gasps> he just got dispel. Take a quick gallop around here with Chester, see what we got coming up. Alright. Um, finish that witch off and get her out of my face. Dispel those things if we get close enough to them before they hit me. There's an archer up there and a bat over here on the left. Off. Don't you dare. Okay, good. <laughs> Excuse me. Though this could poison him. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad. Glad his brother above him there stood or stayed out of it. We're fine, we're fine. All things are good. All the things are ah good, except for I can't bring May up fast enough. Ah, uh, sure. I'll 
set him on fire. I got lots of magic points. Burn! You stay up there. Do your good. Counter this, but I hope he doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. You can do this, Kiwi. Do it. Five. You only need to hit him for five. <gasps> no. He ducked. What do I gotta come over here? Is that bat? I can't reach that bat, eh? That's a little disappointing. Um, I'm gonna move over here. Kill him. Kill him. Come on, Peter. Yes, all right. Peter's gonna kill the. He's being useful. Kill that bat, Peter. Yeah. I like it when Peter is useful. Slade's gonna get the kill. Oh, so many Dodgers here. Where's Sarah? I need her to heal some people. up there uh oh oh okay actually no that's probably the two best people it could hit oh that hurt though although I mean I was trying to get Sarah up here so this will be a good opportunity for her to get some good experience <gasps> okay that's only Slade Ooh. ow Wow! That vampire bat is dumb. They could have killed Slade. Ah, Peter got poisoned. You stay there. Yeah, I don't need to deal with the likes of you right now. She can't heal anyone yet. Great. Great. It's going to be a turn before anyone gets healed. Yeah. Well, here's what's kind of fun. He's gonna, does Dispel hit more than one? It does. Except I can get a kill on one of them, and I might as well do that instead. They only have 8 MP, and what does Blaze cost? 5? 6. So, they can only use it once, and the one guy who's already fired it is gonna live. But the guy who hasn't is dead, so he's not gonna get a chance to use it. Yeah, he doesn't have enough to use it again, so that was probably the more strategic call. Killing the one who still had the magic points available. Fucking this other one's going back. I can't use it again anyway, and I don't want Slade to die. Yeah, yeah. Save Slade. There was a chance Slade could have died. If the bat had attacked him, it would have definitely killed him. Down by Sarah. Um, he's already used his, but there's a there's a witch up there who might also use her action. It hits him for ten though. Um, hmm. He can't die or this all ends. So I might have to pull him back slightly. Uh, a bunch. Kiwi, get in there. Kill him. There you go, Kiwi. Nine. That's not bad, Kiwi. Ah, uh, finish him off. Good job, team. One experience for a kill. He's a little overleveled. That one's dead, right? Yeah. Let's go for him for the final assault. Yeah, Peter can fly. OP. He just flies right over the cliff. Jumps! Magic is so overpowered at these early levels. Later, it's not so bad when I have a ton of health, but magic. How does that work? 
I mean, I need to heal both these guys, but for first, I'm going to do him. Don't you level up? That's a lot of health. Dean, not bad. No. Hmm. He's ready to enter the fight again. Yeah, that witch is going to get a lot of damage in, but oh well, we're in the nearing end of the fight. She's, you know, it's the end. I can take a lot of damage at the end of a fight and not have to worry about it because the fight's almost over. Heh! <laughs> the hell? Peter turns into an onion. I realize he doesn't actually. Are you gonna get this kill? Sure, why not? Is it a kill? She can hit for 10, right? Yeah, she can. Peter's gonna kill the hobgoblin, and we win. Also, may get the level up. He doesn't need to do anything, just let Peter kill the hobgoblin. I like that I'm not even controlling Peter, but, I mean, that's how I probably would have used him. I would have taken him to go snipe the, the boss of the battle. Oh, nice! Level up! Well done. Because the Hobgoblin... This game works in a way that, like, if you kill the boss of a battle, the whole... Everybody else spins around and explodes. Now, I managed to kill everybody before the Hobgoblin, um, you know, before he could... Sorry. I killed everybody before... I killed the Hobgoblin, so nobody else blew up, but if I had killed the Hobgoblin first, everybody else would have blew up. I'm over-explaining it. I'm sorry. Anyway, next time, we'll uh, head through the, this cave and visit Mount Volcanon, or Volcano, and Volcanon, who lives in Mount Volcano. And, um, no big spoilers, but I think Peter's going to properly join the force so that I can actually use him to properly snipe out the bosses when I want to. So yeah, next time we'll continue our journey. See you then!